Hi everyone, welcome to Potato Chemistry. In this video, we will be looking at the physical properties of the three states of matter, solids, liquids, and gases. We will be discussing the states of matter in several parameters. Firstly, we will look at two opposing forces, the kinetic energy, Ke, which allows the particles to move, and also the forces of attraction, FOA, which holds the particles together. Next, we will discuss how the particles behave as a result of the interaction between the kinetic energy and the forces of attraction between them. We will be discussing the particle behavior in terms of their movement, in terms of how the particles are arranged, and finally, in terms of how far apart are the particles from each other, their distance. Together, we can call this the particle behavior. Finally, we will see how this particle behavior results in the unique properties of shape and volume of the three states of matter. Let's start with the kinetic energy of solids. Kinetic energy allows particles to move, but particles of solids are unable to move freely. They can only vibrate in place. This indicates that particles of solids do not have much kinetic energy. We can describe the amount of kinetic energy stored in particles of solids as low. Because particles of solids do not have much kinetic energy, the particles cannot move far from each other. Forces of attraction between particles is the strongest at close distance and it gets dramatically weaker as the distance increases. Since particles of solids are close together, the forces of attraction between them are very strong. Since the particles have little kinetic energy but strong forces of attraction, particles in solids are unable to move freely. They can only vibrate in place. In most solids, particles are arranged in an ordered, regular pattern. We can describe this arrangement as having order. Due to the strong forces of attraction, the particles in solids are held very close to one another with almost no spaces in between them. So the distance between particles of solids is small. Since the particles of solids are held together strongly, it is relatively difficult to change the shape of most solids. This is described as having fixed shape. Fixed shape means that the shape of solids are not dependent on the shape of the container that they are placed in. You may have noticed that ice cubes placed in a glass of water do not take the shape of the glass. Regarding the volume of solids, because particles of solids are held together by strong forces of attraction, solids cannot expand when placed in a larger container. And because particles of solids are arranged so closely together that there are almost no empty spaces, solids cannot be compressed when they are put into a smaller container. We describe this property of volume as having fixed volume. Again, this means that the volume of solids are not dependent upon the volume of the containers that they are placed in. When particles of solids receive enough kinetic energy, they turn into liquids. Particles of liquids have more kinetic energy than solids, but not as much as in gases. So we can describe the amount of kinetic energy possessed by particles of liquids as being moderate. Just note that there is no official definition of how much energy is considered moderate. We say moderate here in relative terms. It is moderate compared to the amount of kinetic energy contained in particles of solids. Having more kinetic energy allows the particles of liquids to partly overcome the forces of attraction between them. This allows the particles to move further apart. Moving further apart further weakens the forces of attraction between them as forces of attraction are very sensitive to distance. So we can describe the strength of the forces of attraction between particles of liquid being moderate as well. Because particles of liquid have more kinetic energy and weaker forces of attraction compared to their solid counterparts, particles of liquid can move freely, unlike in solids, which can only vibrate in place. Since the particles in liquids can move freely, the particles are no longer arranged in regular order. We can describe this as being disordered. Although particles of liquid have more kinetic energy than particles of solids, they still do not have enough energy that they can move apart from each other. 
there is still quite a considerable amount of forces of attraction holding them together. Therefore, the distance between particles of liquid is still quite small. The particles are still close to each other. One of the notable differences between solids and liquid is their properties of shape. While solids have fixed shapes because of the strong forces of attraction holding the particles of solids together, particles of liquids experience weaker forces of attraction. Therefore, particles of liquids can move around freely. Because the particles can move around freely, this allows liquids to take the shape of their containers or to change their shape when force is applied. You may have noticed this when you squeeze a water balloon, for example. We can describe the properties of shapes of liquids as being container dependent, meaning the shape of a liquid depends on the shape of the container that you placed it in. The volume of liquids, however, are fixed, just like in solids. And this is because the particles of liquids are still held together strongly and closely enough that liquids cannot expand or compress to fit the volume of its container. In fact, the unique combination of free-moving particles and fixed volume of liquids is what makes it suitable for use in hydraulics. When liquids receive enough kinetic energy, they turn into gases. Particles of gases not only move more freely than particles of liquids, but the particles move so fast that they actually separate from each other. Particles of gases have high amounts of kinetic energy. Because the gas particles are so far apart from each other, they are unable to attract each other. Recall that forces of attraction is extremely sensitive to distance. So the forces of attraction between particles of gases are very weak. Particles in gases can move freely, just like in liquids. Because of this, gas particles, just like particles of liquids, also have no ordered or regular arrangement. And as mentioned before, particles of gases are usually very far from one another, so the distance between them is large. Since gas particles experience virtually no forces of attraction, their shape is completely dependent on the shape of their container. Air in a balloon takes the shape of the balloon. If the balloon is popped inside a room, then the air now takes the shape of the room. Unlike liquids and solids, however, the volume of gases is also container dependent. This is because gas particles have enough kinetic energy to quickly cover the volume of a larger container, and it also has enough spaces between them to allow for compression to fit into a smaller volume. And this is exploited when we pump air into our vehicle tires, for example. To increase the air pressure in tires, the air particles are compressed into a volume much smaller than they would otherwise occupy at atmospheric pressure. 